Pokeberries grow everywhere in my part of Ohio and Michigan. I think the birds probably poop the seeds and plant them. The plants can get enormous. This is a pokeberry. The plants tend to be really large. They have a bright fuchsia colored stem. They grow in clusters like this. They look and smell tasty, so you have to make sure your children don't think it's something to eat. So I'm cutting the stalk with pruners and filling a big gallon Ziploc bag. You might wanna wear gloves. Okay, so I picked these pokeberries yesterday and I've got them in a Ziploc. This is the easiest way to do it if you're out and around in the woods, camping, whatever. I'm just gonna squash them right here in the bag. I've got the top open. And little by little, I'm just gonna use my hands and squish the juice out of these. I always think I don't need gloves for this and I'm always wrong. So it's a good idea to wear gloves, but all I'm gonna do here is nip off the corner of this I've got an empty uh, uh, one liter bottle. You can use anything really to catch the juice. The thing to remember is you wanna label it. I mean, our rule from the studio is you never put anything else in a food container. So this little skull and crossbones guy is always on my art supplies. My children have learned to be afraid of anything in a bottle, including kombucha, because they're not sure if it's one of mom's experiments. I poured the pokeberry juice into four little cups. If you want to keep this to make ink, you have a choice. You can either keep it from fermenting or you can ferment it on purpose. So in these four little cups, I have pokeberry with a tablespoon of vodka, pokeberry with a tablespoon of salt, pokeberry with a tablespoon of vinegar, and plain old pokeberry. Pokeberry has some yeast in it. You'll notice if you pick a Ziploc bag full, It'll puff up after a day or two, just from the yeast starting to ferment the juice. Pokeberry juice makes a lovely color. It's very bright. It's fugitive, which means that with time and sunlight, it will eventually fade. But another one of the things that makes a big difference in the color of pokeberry is acid and alkaline. So I have a little bit of baking soda water here. I just twisted up a piece of paper towel to use as kind of a paintbrush to show you that if we add a different pH to this acidic um, color, it's gonna make a big color change. It'll go from this pink to a dark, deep purple. And then within a couple hours, that purple stripe may have faded completely to, to nothing. So you can use these two colors together. You can add a little baking soda to your, to your ink. There are a lot of experiments you can do with acid and alkaline that really have an effect on the color of this ink.